Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Where are they? This is taking forever! They didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? Welcome back everybody, my name is Kidden, and we're playing Pathfinder Kingmaker. It's pretty much a brand new game that came out not too long ago, I haven't heard anything before it came out except for like little hints. It's based on the Pathfinder role-playing system, which is kind of like Dean. It's roll to a d20 like d d but quite different. Uh, this is part of the Kingmaker set, which the other thing part I know about this is that you're going to become a king somewhere, probably, most likely. So, I'm also playing a female necromancer. So, props to that. If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. Oh, cool. You can mouse over and see little tidbits. Oh, what's going on with the areas and, like, region stuff? Neat. All right, you purple toad. <laughs> just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. I like her. Hush! Quiet! They're coming! Greetings, everyone. I am Swordlord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius of Restov. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restoff needs. Okay. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. Huh. This is disputed territory. And while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. Oh. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the stolen lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, <laughs> claiming like that. dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restoff would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this ah. new state as well as the noble title of its founder. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, hmm. considers himself the rightful Why does it sound like of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? Uh, let's see. If you're helping us found a barony, what do you gain for such generosity? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. Ugh. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. I don't like him. Of course, we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, Using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. Uh huh. Okay. There's a whole team of us who exactly will receive the Baron's title. I will, of course. I'm I the leader you. of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. Oh, I hate you so much. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. 
What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Jeez. <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. <sighs> Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. Okay. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, huh. with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and hmm. doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return in triumph. Cool. This should be interesting. Hi, oh. my name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. Uh huh. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself head of the team, <laughs> and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. Doesn't hmm. matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This, this is the person I'll write my book about. A book? Damn, <laughs> I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. Okay. You know what the trouble with most heroes biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? Oh, that's a decent point. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or God, oh, I like her. Tartuccio. No way. Now, I will rem I'll, I'll remind you guys, I am lawful neutral. So that means I have my own rules. And I don't give a shit of what else thinks. I'm not chaotic neutral, because I've tried that before, and that's a little... Eh. Oh god, which feats you to write them down. Deal. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Oh, we can't really even talk to anyone. Okay. And I ran through all the controls. I disabled the tutorial because I figured that you guys aren't going to want to deal with that. Oh, what now? Help! Help! What's going on? We need to help. Okay. Some villains broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one. <laughs> I almost thought it would be a Wilhelm scream there. Their uh -huh. life ends here. Uh, love it. This will hurt. So a Pathfinder, you can cast the uh, Zillow spells as much as you want. Ow. Dick. What do I have for my inventory? I got nothing. Ever running torch. D3 bloodshed plus one fire. Hey, look, stop. Wait. All I do is kill in this bed. In due time. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hey, look, more stuff. I'll be, I'll be right with you, Lindsay. There you go. I'm there. I don't know how to see what sleep does, because I got... As a sorcerer, I get the most spells per day. I got someone we have to help. Oh, it's just the gnome, I think. Ah, hey. a test of my abilities. I saw them. You should have run. I saw them. You're just uh, in time. Okay. A bit longer and I'd have been... Oof, I don't even want to think about it. <sighs> Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? Uh -huh. But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound, and unscathed. Ready to lead you to victory. Lady Jamandi's holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen lands. Speaking of dummies... Take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. Uh-huh. What do you mean? Huh. Uh, I'll just grab that because money, 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 money. Do what this I will be quick. Oh, she, wait, she's a bard. I still got it. Come on. There he goes. I am never wrong. <sighs> oh, I have scrolls. Oh, you only put one potion on their bar. Interesting. Okay. I'm off. Oh, they actually like talking, give dialogue stuff. I'm there. Oh, jeez. Here. Oh, there's a little kitty cat. Huh. Lore book, I guess. This really does feel a lot like the old, like, Baldur's Gate and stuff. Oh, it's the barbarian check. Oh, God. This will hurt. Fuck. Oh, it's you. Stay up from under my feet or I'll strike you down. Blood uh. for Gorum! Oh, it's our god. Barians. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What, stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such heroes. Sabred Sting. L the goddess of lust and revenge. Okie dokie. Follow if you 
dare. There they are, the assassins. Look at the swagger on that one guy. Jesus Christ. Uh. Oh, she just steps on that guy. I love it. That was a cone of gold. That's a frost giant. Holy shit. That was a wall. Okay. Thank you for your generous contribution. I'm there. Securely locked. Dexterity. That was easy. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. I saw there. Please die. A new flesh wound. I do what I must. There we go. Brandon cannot travel. <sighs> That's better. In due time. What have we here? What? No, we're heroes, not thieves who said we were stealing it we'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it and then we can heroically return it to jamandi when this how would she know it was us and not the assassins uh -huh. unless don't drag me into this you do what you want but i'm not Oh, there's nothing. Oh, okay. Let's go this way. Oh, familiar faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. <laughs> it's me, Jathal. Jathal, I don't how you recommend say it? advancing down the hallway. Assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. Uh -huh. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? I'll answer but briefly uh -huh. and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm <coughs> undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. Oh, cool. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like zombies or skeletons or... As I said, further explanations Looks will pretty good wait for undead. until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. Okay. <sighs> Just letting the ink dry. She's adorable. Anything else? I see Another something. one? Anything is possible. Holy crap. It's just not my lucky day. Come on. A 
boss, please. There we go. How curious. What troubles you? Holy shit. Applause, please. Yes, Lindsay, you're adorable. Where's she anyway? Oh, she's an inquisitor. Neutral evil. Interesting. We should move. Dallying for. Hey, wait for me. You should have run. I wonder. Days is a cantrip. Never mind. Absolute. Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh, oh, I saw something. I'll take care of it. That was by sheer dumb luck. I swear. That's a. Uh... Hello. Stuff. Money. And what's in the chest? What a magic whistle. I'll take it. Follow if you dare. Cool. One to me. Wretched things. Ow. The fuck? You dick. Come on. Don't hold back. How could this happen? Oh my god. That's really annoying. Like I saw it. Esme, Axel, yes. Jesus Christ. Harum. Oh, that's a dwarf. I can sense your silhouette. Hovering over me. <sighs> it won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. You barely got a scratch. You're wrong. Who would know better than I the severity of my own wounds? I can feel the last drops of vital force leaving me. <laughs> Quit the act and a fight. How rude. Speaking to a dying man that way, look, <laughs> I can't even move. What? It, 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 it can't be, but I'm gravely wounded. I can't even stand on my own two feet. Watch. It, uh, 
It seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god <sighs> for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Arim is at your service. <sighs> Patience. Oh, he's a cleric. Touch of chaos, true affliction, true strike, bless and bane. Oh. Cool. Okay. Let's go. You run and get an axe. You bring more water. You stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Aha. Uh. Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. Okay, do you need help putting out the fire? No, we'll manage. I've got my best people here, those who still live. Your place is by Lady Aldori's side. It doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We May Abadar keep you safe. All right, let's go. You just walk through the fire or something? Oh, hello. Started a whole team gathered in the hall. He said he's been reduced to a handful of brave souls. Mario was waiting for us. We got to get through to where we had to manage through the fire, literally. Uh, to drench yourself with buckets of water. And then brush through. And what's in any time? Oh! Wall by a slanted and crashed down, terrible crack and I'm blocking the way back. Well, we may not have planned on going back if we'd come a little later. The flaming logs and red hot bricks should have fallen right on our heads. Ah. That's why I gave you three choices. Ooh. Ooh, fair athletics. Oh, sorry. I was lost in fog. Well, she's not affected. State your desire. Oh, that's right. Okay, so that's how you heal her. Okie dokie. Oof. Fatigue. Okay. Hello, that's a lot of people. Out of Frost Giant. Their life ends here. Uh-huh. Let's go with a a bless spell for the cleric. What can she do? Oh, hello. Oh, let's do that. No healing spells. Protect me, please. What a miserable chapter. 
Come on. Missile. Where the hell is she going? That was rough. Plenty, plenty of them. <sighs> Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Hmm. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's mm, more, knowledge I know of world who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Irovetti's seal? That's why she wasn't killed. The bandits recognized her as one of their own by the signet ring. I have no connection to Patek, but Tenetuchu's name, accent, and clothes seem like he came straight from there. Probably, yes. But this evidence <laughs> is circumstantial at best. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. Aww. I bet my life the spy's anyone but this woman. I saw how she dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with her through hell and high water. This purple crook, on the other hand. <laughs> He's got Lady Algori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed her true colors. She forced us to break into the armory and rob it. Considering the circumstances, that was more than reasonable. <laughs> that was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. It is insane when faced with death to stop and question whether you may be breaking some law or rule. Even more insane would be to ask forgiveness for making the right decision. <laughs> Sorry, but your words display a lack of wisdom. Huh. What about that trick she pulled right before we came in here? She knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, she dallied as long as she could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. She was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Really, Cartuccio? You're seriously trying to blame someone for saving people from a fire? <laughs> May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but... She behaved decently, as a true leader. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight, hmm. not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. Enough squabbling. I don't think I'm going to get the uh, sure Jethal. I can trust. I mean, she's However, an inquisitor, an undead inquisitor. The whole affair to a spy is too great. 
Here's so bizarre. We'll Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the Stolen Lands. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the Stolen Lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you she right now. She is pretty. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If my leader allows, I would join her team. She seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Hmm. Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Our leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual acts. I prefer those who can act kindness. without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tartuccio. Ugh, Tartuccio is going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shall and spare me from such allies? I'm going with you. You're huh. a hero worthy of my quill. Oh. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this woman. As for you, Purple Toad, Barbarian, a fighter, along the way. and a bar. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the trees. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactus Crossing. The Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, huh. you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. Good enough for me. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's yeah. events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The royal house of Sertova may also interfere Pirates in the plan. Pirates and raiders. I've managed yeah. to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that I can't mean... last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. Oof. And now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path. And you overcame it as true champions of Restolf. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Surviving a terrible night, our small <laughs> team set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands. Heroes are on the way. That's adorable. All right, so I think that's where I'm going to cut it right here for now. This has been Pathfinder Keymaker. My name's Kidden. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of this series. I'm probably going to do a little bit more of, along with Number Tonight's Enhanced Edition, some others. See if I can get back into the swing of doing some more of these videos more often. And I'm going to see everyone later.